Well, mental health advocates are now calling on D.C.'s elected leaders to provide more resources for people in crisis. Today, they took their message to the D.C. City Council and the D.C. Mayor's Office. News 4's Mark Seagraves has our report. What do we want? Safety for all. What do we want? Now. They gathered on the steps of the Wilson Building to raise awareness about how the district responds to people in a mental health crisis. When you call 911 in the District of Columbia, the most likely outcome if you're calling about a mental health crisis is that you're going to get a police officer. Michael Perloff with the American Civil Liberties Union wants mental health specialists to respond to those 911 calls for help, not police. The system we have isn't working. Police aren't trained for this. And honestly, this is a problem that we've just dumped on their desk like so many other areas of life. Last year, the district joined states across the country launching the 988 crisis hotline, where people can call for help and speak with someone trained to handle mental health issues. The district's 911 call takers are being trained to divert calls for mental health related incidents to 988. The ACLU released recommendations today it hopes DC leaders will embrace. The first is creating someone to talk to. These are crisis call centers, ensuring that there are non-police mental health responders. And finally, you need a place to go. We need our community-based mental health facilities where people can receive the care they need in the community where they are. The district does have a community response team of trained mental health providers who can respond to calls for help. In a statement, the D.C. Department of Behavioral Health tells News 4 the district invested resources to nearly double the number of trained crisis counselors and their community response team. The program has expanded from 12 hours a day to 24 hours every day. In addition, the Department of Behavioral Health staff will soon be working at the 911 call center. In the district, Mark Seagraves, News 4. The Department of Behavioral Health told News 4 they will continue to train D.C. police officers to handle those mental health crises. The department currently has about 150 officers who are certified as crisis intervention officers and another 800 who have mental health first aid training.